Hi everyone, and welcome. In this tutorial I'll show you how I made this fur effect in Inkscape, and only Inkscape, of course. Here are the colors that I used, and also the objects that I used. A path, spiral, and a star and a rectangle with the background. Now let's change the page to landscape. By Control shift d we'll open this uh, document properties. Change this to pixel and change everything to pixel. <laughs> Choose landscape and here change the width to 1920 the height to, to 1080 and change this to checker just to know if I have any transparency helps to know if the object is transparent or not and uh, close it now let's start with the rectangle choose snap to the border so you can snap to the border that you have. Create the rectangle. Be sure you don't have any uh, rounded uh, rounded corners by clicking this one. No, uh, here I just uh, convert to a, a path. It's not really necessary. Okay, here I'm giving it a uh, gradient color using the colors that I already have. Change the, changing the direction of the gradient. Yep. Now let's create the star. Click the star and follow the settings that I'm having here. Doesn't need to be one of these on the same, but just follow the. Uh, copy and paste values. Here I scaled it a little bit, and now it's time to give it some colors. Again, I'll use gradient. Okay, let's pick first color. Red or pink. And the second color, this orange, bright orange, beige. Uh, here I'm just uh, changing the points. Again, not necessary. Now it's time to create the path. Sucking the pearl and um, changing the settings. Again, it depends. You can only use a line, but in this case, I use the spiral for the path. Uh, here make sure that the uh, star is on top of the uh, path so that the uh, effect that I'm here in the extension uh, the uh, generate from path so I make sure that this will work preview give it a minus value in the uh, space uh, Be sure to go slowly on the, giving the number, don't give it an extreme value. Crashed many times while I was doing this tutorial. Crashed one time, thankfully. Okay, so uh, 
these two objects will be selected by default just move them away or delete them now it's time to add some distortion to the uh, give it some uh, randomness go to the filter and distortion and roughen so I uh, enabled the live preview and uh, started tweaking <laughs> So I kept tweaking until I was satisfied with this. Apply and close. So basically this is it. But I still wanted to add some uh, more randomness. Now I double click the object. So I can enter the group. Now I selected all the objects inside the group. To add the uh, effect in each um, object <laughs> each star uh, here I just kept tweaking tweaking until I got the result that I wanted tweaking tweaking and tweaking okay until I got here applied and closed I was satisfied, satisfied with the result and and this is the end of the tutorial I hope, I hope you liked the video and if you have any request just uh, let me know in the comment section or send me a link yeah so take care